So earlier this week, reports started to pop up that supposedly the role of Hal Jordan had been offered to the Josh Brolin. This led many people to ask the question, why would we be going with such an old version of Hal Jordan? Brolin being 56, think about it players, all your friends who are even just one year older than you, as decrepit as that makes them. Now imagine how ancient level 56 is. Crazy, right? Now some people were onto this earlier when we saw that Nathan Fillion would be portraying Guy Garner and Mr. Fillion is 53 years of age. So with Hal Jordan being the senior lantern of all the most iconic lanterns from before, it would stand to reason that our DCU Hal Jordan would be older than our Guy Gardner even by just a little bit. Now the DCU will be a universe that is already robust in superheroes with them existing for as long as the world has been in existence. So it stands to reason that we wouldn't just be getting a bunch of origin stories for all these characters where the world is just being introduced to the likes of metahumans. We've been here. We're hitting the ground running. People have been voicing their displeasure because believe it or not, there are fans of all different Green Lanterns, especially Hal Jordan. People that want to see him in live action and arguably them having Hal be this old and our focal point of the DC universe, Superman being played by David Cornsweet, who is in his early 30s, would probably mean Hal would have a lesser role in the DCU and would more than likely not be on the main Justice League roster, probably in favor of Jon Stewart. And this also bleeds over into like, okay, if Hal Jordan is this old, then maybe his buddy Barry Allen is that old. And maybe we get Wally West on the main Justice League roster. Maybe Green Arrow is an old fart too. But you know, that's besides the point right now. Let's focus on the Green Lanterns. So other supposed actors up for the role were Ewan McGregor, the legendary Matthew McConaughey, Timothy Oliphant, and Chris Pine. Now I love Matt McConaughey, but I don't picture Hal Jordan with a Southern draw. I feel like Ewan McGregor would make a way better Sinestro. Oliphant would be cool, but again, he's like the same exact age as Brolin, so I'm just worried about longevity, which ultimately leads me to say my pick has got to be Chris Pine. Chris Pine is like 44 years old. That's the perfect age for Hal Jordan, in my opinion, so that he still has enough longevity to be a mainstay in the DCU, at least for a good chunk of time, to get his due on the big screen after Ryan Reynolds' favorite movie from 2011, to have enough seniority to be a mentor to the other Green Lanterns, and then once he gets to that older age, the transition to Parallax feels smoother and holds more weight. Again, I have no idea what the grand plan is, right? But what other people and myself have been speculating upon hearing this news is that their ultimate goal with even considering making Hal Jordan this old is to turn him into Parallax by adapting Emerald Twilight. Now, Emerald Twilight is like a three-part story from 1994, issues 48 to 50, in which after Cyborg, Superman, and Mongol destroy Coast City and Superman 80, Hal Jordan becomes grief-stricken at losing his home, and he uses his ring to basically recreate parts of the city and people from his past like he recreates his dad twice and is trying his hardest to fish an I'm proud of you son out of him which hey can you really blame the guy he recreates his mother and even an oldling but this leaves his ring drained and it also gets him in trouble with the guardians because he's not supposed to use the ring in that way for personal gain which sets him off because they don't give a fuck about what just happened to him so he sets off for Oa to defeat waves upon waves of green lanterns past friends even kill so that he can get to the power battery and claim all that power for himself to restore what he lost, which he was an absolute problem, an absolute beast here. He was giving everybody the work in ruthless fashion. Honestly, Hal Jordan with that gray streak is a monster and it's a hard ass look. He eventually even whoops Sinestro's ass. People are speculating that the terrifying mystery on Earth will set the stage for Emerald Twilight to play out and then for them to introduce the new guard eventually with Kyle Rayner, which Emerald Twilight Twilight was the story that facilitated Kyle Rayner becoming the new main Green Lantern. I think we will get a more classic Justice League look at first with Hal on the roster and then maybe John for a more substantial amount of time after, but it will probably transition even a little more quickly because if this is their plan, which it's looking like it might be, when Kyle enters the fray, he is the sole Green Lantern because John Stewart joins the Dark Stars, another peacekeeping initiative, and then Guy Garner was like the warrior, you know, the 90s, right? But I'm I'm sure they're thinking of how they'll transition actors in and out of the universe as they age. Again, this is all just presuming that they're going with this sooner rather than later. I wouldn't mind if Jon Stewart is the main Green Lantern for the DCU and if we get Wally West as our main Flash, just like the Justice League animated series. But I do think Hal is due for a good live action depiction, specifically on the big screen. Although I am extremely excited for Lanterns. I think it's going to be an amazing show. I'm not sure if the goal is to make Hal old to get to the Parallax Saga already.
ready. And then when they reboot the universe, we get a new young Hal. And then we just run it with Hal Jordan as the main Green Lantern and all the other Green Lanterns just more close in age. If that's the case, then Brolin's casting would make a little bit more sense. In that way, we can kind of have both. Then we get into the Sinestro core, you know, the War of Lights and then Blackest Night. I made it a point recently to finish Jeff John's Green Lantern's run and I'm like 10 issues away from finishing it. Although I do have to finish the Green Lantern core run that coincides with this run, which I've been slacking on truthfully, but it's been such a dope read. And I think where the DCU will take a lot of inspiration from for the Green Lanterns in the future, depending on how they handle Emerald Twilight, if that is what is going to happen, if they were to do that in a season two. And also when we do get a movie for the Green Lanterns, what will that look like? Are we saving big storylines for the movies only? And then the show will be more like the Green Lantern Corps run of like a more day-to-day -day type thing for Green Lanterns. Time will tell. I think it's crazy Chris Pine hasn't been a superhero yet. And even though I enjoyed him in Wonder Woman, I always thought he had way more potential. As far as who Jon Stewart would be cast as, I see a lot of people cast in Aaron Pierre, but I truthfully haven't seen him in anything yet. So I can't say for sure whether I like his acting or not. I wouldn't mind running it back with Aldous Hodge as Jon Stewart. I think he also voiced Jon Stewart in an animated movie. So I'd love for him to get another chance in a universe that more than likely will last. As far as Kyle Rayner goes, depending on when and what they plan on doing with him, in the case they bring him in sooner, I'd be down for either Brandon Perea, but my top pick for Kyle Rayner would probably be Diego Tinoco. He fits the cast perfectly in my opinion, and when I binged the first season of On My Block, he was extremely charismatic, so I think he could pull it off. Depending on where they want to go with these characters and when they decide to, because he could very well age out by the time they decide to include Kyle Rayner. Again, this very conversation is pure conjecture, as I have no idea if Brolin even did get the offer or if any of these actors are actually in the running, but I'm just glad we have Green Lantern news like this in the mix. I hated the time before the DCU because it was so shrouded in mystery of like, okay, we have this Batman movie. When slash are we getting a Batfleck one for the DCEU? Are we getting another Superman movie? Is HBO Max Lantern show ever going to happen? Legit, I wanted the Snyderverse to be restored just so we'd have some type of direction to follow. Any type of structure would have been great. And so I'm just so glad that it's a reality now for DC characters we'll finally be able to see our favorite DC characters in a cohesive live action universe in the same way that Marvel fans have been able to do so for the past nearly you know two decades with the MCU although I'd argue probably even better since we have access to all the characters in the universe we got a creative calling the shots in James Gunn who not only has experience in connected universes but is a prolific director himself so I'd imagine he'd offer more creative leeway and trust for future DCU directors to experiment and be crazier with their installments and then we have the Elseworlds universe to play around with as we simultaneously build up the DCU. I think it's in the bag, but again, time will tell players. Let me know what you think of all this rumor Green Lantern news. Do you think Brolin would make a good old Hal Jordan or are you more in favor of a young Chris Pine? Do you have any fan cast for Jon Stewart or Kyle Rayner? Any Green Lantern stories you want to recommend to your boy? Let me know. I'm all ears, but that's pretty much it. If you like the video, leave me a thumbs up, comment down below, and if you want to subscribe, I always appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope all of you guys are well and I will see you in the next one.